so today second topic that is what is democracy why democracy in the previous chapter of democratic lesson we have seen two tales of democracy in that two examples we have taken from chile as well as from poland in the chile's case we have seen the democratic government before pinochet's rule and after pinochet has left over the power before pinochet's rule we have ayande ruling with good democratic principles where people have elected the leader and the leader is responsible for people he has taken certain reforms which will be benefiting the people but moving on towards the pinochet's rule pinochet is a military leader who has overthrown the ayande government and then he became the dictator of chile later when the referendum was conducted he was been overthrown and we got the democratic government replacing him in the similar way in poland also we have communist rule poland workers party rule which is run on the sidelines of communist party with the support of ussr but after lek valesia has turned out in the elections as victorious the democratic government has been replaced the party's rule in poland in the similar way enkrumah's rule in ghana was a democratic setup while he was been overthrown by the military coup there so here we can understand that democracy is very simple to define that is the rulers in democracy the rulers are elected by people this is a basic fundamental let us take the example of chile when ayande was elected by the people he worked towards the benefit of the people when pinochet came he did not work for the benefit of the people but he started to harass them he started to torture the people those who want to lean towards democracy the similar case with the poland also the party rule party always try to control the people whereas lek valesia want freedom to the people in a similar case with ghana enkrumah's rule was overthrown by the military coup restricting the freedom of the people so when the rulers are not elected by the people they would not serve the interest of the people so in order to serve the interest of the people the leaders have to be elected by the people only then only the leaders will serve the interest of the people so let us say in democracy how can we say that this particular country is following democracy the other countries are not following democracy for example let us take saudi saudi arabia is one of the countries which is filthy rich with the petroleum reserves in the west asian region though the people are free, having freedom here but the king of saudi was not elected by the people there are so many restrictions in the social life of the people women are not allowed freely to wander here and there so all these things prove to us that when there is no elected government by the people there the interests of the people are not at all served a similar case with the pakistan when pakistan was under the military rule of general parvez musharraf he did not allow the people to have free elections he did not allow the people to have freedom of press so all these things make us very clear that the simple basic definition of democracy the starting point is that in democracy the leaders have to be elected by the people then only the leaders will serve the interest of the people so what are the basic features of democracy now let us see the features of democracy in the features of democracy as we described till now that the basic and the simple definition of democracy is that the leaders or the rulers have to be elected by the people when we described this one we have four important words the rulers elections people and government when we talk about the rulers who are the rulers or the officials we are talking about are they really capable of ruling are these people really worth of ruling and are they ruling on the lines 
which are prescribed for them within the interest of the people we should remember that the ruler cannot do whatever he want to do he has to do within the framework given by the people or the limits which are set by the constitution for example when we discuss the pakistan issue here in 1999 general parvez musharraf has revolted and did a military coup and removed nawaz sharif from power and in 2002 he changed his position as president by getting people's mandate through a referendum in this referendum he got clearly people's mandate supporting him for the next 5 years then he became the ruler of pakistan after becoming the ruler of pakistan he changed the constitutional framework and he brought a new law which is called the legal framework according to this legal framework he has changed the authority of president from a nominal status to very powerful status and through which he can set up a military body like a national security council which will be headed by the military people and the authorities of the parliament as well as by the provincial assemblies will be restricted to very less powers the elected people would have very less powers to talk so all these things he was able to make certain changes so when you talk about the leaders whom we are electing they should not do whatever they feel is right they should do but within the restrictions within the limitations of the people that have to be done and the next elections when the elections are done when we are electing the leaders the election should be offered in a free and fair manner when we talk about the elections there should not be any kind of pressure there should not be any kind of force working on us let us take an example of mexico the example of mexico clearly brings us the idea that for every 6 years in mexico we have elections so we can think here we have true democracy because for every fixed period of time we have elections but the institution of party which is revolutionary party does always use force even the school teachers pressurize the parents to vote towards that particular party and there was no free choice for the people to elect any other party so elections are not offering any true chance for them to elect they are just a nominal elections so that kind of elections should not be there then coming to people what about the people 